<clears throat> Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here at Grant Care. Want me a culture soup of doom? Almost as good as a lucky strike. Thank you, Miss. Mr. and Mrs. Metal. Uh, that was pretty fucking cool what you guys did. And sorting the world's problems out after coffee, a shower, a shave, doing my chores, eating breakfast, and getting life's problems figured out. Uh, my apologies for not being here yesterday. Um, I was here in the sense. Just didn't record anything. Uh, I was in a vile mood the night before last. Yeah, yeah, me and Fuego were texting. Our obligatory holiday blessings to one another. <clears throat> I'll get her riled up at some point. Uh, I was just having a bad day. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the night before, uh, I turned into a malt liquor monster. And um, me and Rooster were playing Drunk Battleship. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And then... Uh, uh, I woke up, and I smelled like a barroom floor, and I had, like, a headache all day until, like, 6 o'clock last night. <sighs> and I didn't really have anything to talk about, so I sat and watched Die Hard, number one, and number two. Uh, I watched number three a while back, but I learned something new. Apparently, Die Hard 2 is a Christmas movie, and uh, me and a few people have had an argument over the years. They said it was a Christmas movie. I disagreed, said it was a New Year's movie. Come to find out. They actually two hints in that movie that actually say what time it is. Uh, besides the fact it's snowing, you know, in Washington, D.C., which I don't know if it does or not. Uh, I don't really care. But here's the thing, man. Uh, in the movie, you know, he's crawling through the vent and stuff, as John McClane often does in the movie. And uh, he says, man, I wish I could just have a normal fucking Christmas for once or something like that. Then at the end, uh, the mall cop, you know, at the airport, tears up the ticket that he got in front of the airport at the beginning of the movie, saying, well, it's Christmas, man, we can let it go. It's like, motherfucker, I have been wrong all these years, and it upset me. <sighs> I'm learning new stuff all the time, man. Uh, I know you think it's like a weird tradition, like I watch Die Hard around Christmas, but let me explain. See, the old man and I were famous for hiding from the relatives and putting on some action movie cheese because he hated the holidays as much as I do. But when he was here, we made it fun. We'd smoke some cigarettes, we'd drink some drinks, we'd eat salami and cheese ball and whatever random gubbins were in the fridge. Uh, we'd have a drunken snackening, and uh, we'd put on some good movies, man. And everybody's like, oh my God, that's such a terrible way to spend the holidays. Him and I fucking had a great time. And that's what I'm going to do today. I am going to put on movies. Why? <sighs> See, that's the wrong attitude to have is why. See, you may say why, and I say why not. You know, it's just like, you know, when uh, you and your drinking buddy with benefits, you know, you get all hosed up and you can't remember what happened the night before, but you see her again. She's got another black eye you gave her and smiling and claims you tore her. Well... I don't know why, but usually when I get myself in one of them kind of moods, it's a why not. It happens. You know, you may say, well, Joe, why do you pick up fights and arguments on the internet? You say why? I say why not? <sighs> you know, like for example, I've given Shorty a hard time for years. She's like, but if the steak's cooked right, you don't need A1 sauce. You don't have to have A1 sauce because it's a need. You have A1 sauce because it's good on everything. There. I'm not sorry. And, uh, you know, like if you have to cook the steak and not eat it raw, at least cook it rare, you know. You may say, well, why do you text random gibberish to Fuego and other people on the Internet? You say why. I say why not. The shit's funny. It's funny to me as a spectator sport. It's funny that the person it's happening to is a spectator sport, and it's funny to you, the internet, is a spectator sport. Sure, some of you, like Loretta, may say, oh, Joe, you're killing your liver. Probably. I don't really care. You may say, oh, Joe, you had fried food for breakfast. You're fucking a right, so I did. I had me some fried potatoes and what I thought was pork. Uh, it turns out it was very, very chewy, thinly sliced beef. And they didn't bother labeling the package. So I could have eaten horse for all I care. Do you think I give a fuck? Nope. You say why, I say why not. And it was cold outside yesterday. It was like 20 fucking degrees all day and the wind was blowing. I just didn't feel like it. 
<clears throat> being an adult is a, a complicated pain in the ass. And, uh, you know, some days I deal with it better than others. Today I'm dealing with it just fine because mom's going out to the movies like she usually does on Christmas and going to look at the Christmas lights. Do you think I'm going? Fuck no. I'm staying right the fuck home and bonding with my chair. And I'm going to watch some action movies. You say, well, Joe, why are you watching the Beverly Hills Cop trilogy? Because the Browning High Power is awesome and Eddie Murphy is funny. Right? Like, who does not want a banana in the tailpipe at some point? No, that's not a sexual innuendo, although I'm sure some of you females out there can relate to what I'm saying. You and I both know you like the naughty place, you know, as long as you use plenty of lube and don't finish inside, it's fine, you know? <laughs> and some of you are like, oh no, I don't want to go ass to mouth. Listen, ladies, it's okay. In the heat of the moment, it's all right. All right, we're not going to judge you as long as everybody's gotten out of the shower first. It's fine, right? But that's what life is, man. It, you know, it's like I could talk to you about the obligatory holiday greetings, you know, or I could do what I always do. And that's when I wake up first thing on Christmas morning. I play a Junkies Christmas. AVE usually uploads it anyway. I've listened to it every year since I was a little, little kid when Dad showed it to me. I think William S. Burroughs is one of the most talented authors of our time. Uh, he was a brilliant and great mind that way, and uh, dope set him free. And uh, he, he cleaned up and got his shit together as he got older, but, you know, all that time he spent sticking a new hole in his arm really kind of shaped his life opinions and stuff. And for those of you that don't know, uh, William S. Burroughs literally got away with murder. Like, he played a game called William Tell with his wife. It's where she put something on her head, and uh, he'd shoot it off of her head with his pistol, and uh, he, quote-unquote, missed and uh, got her right between the eyes. Uh, I'm sure that was totally, you know, just one of those tragic hunting accidents indoors. But, you know, everybody in Hollywood is basically a pee-pee toucher or a fucking communist. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, movies like Drugstore Cowboy, man. Like, who can watch that movie without saying, geez, I miss drugs sometimes. And, of course, you remember why you outgrew the shit, you know, because it's bad for you and stuff. But it's okay if you don't outgrow it, because guess what? Eventually, you'll outgrow yourself and become dead. And uh, this is why I don't celebrate the holidays, man. Uh, I wish all of you a Merry Christmas. I sincerely mean that, you know, or whatever the fuck you celebrate. You know, to my heathen friends out there, Skull, you know. Uh, to my Jewish friends out there, if I do have any, I don't know. Uh, I wish you a bagel with cream cheese smear or whatever on it. I don't know what you people do, and I don't really care. I don't understand the whole kosher thing, but that's that's your problem, not mine. And uh, I'm going to go sit on my butthole. Uh, I've got loads of dishes to do after frying some breakfast. I've got laundry to do, and I may do a live stream later. So you, the viewer at home, can come hide with me. And keep me out of trouble, right? Because that's a full-time job. <laughs> you know, my mom and the authorities are still trying to figure that one out. But, you know, you blow a couple of things up and burn a few things down as a kid, you know, and don't get caught for it. You know, people start to worry. But I am fine. Uh, I'm not okay, but I will be okay. We'll get through it together, I promise. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go sit on my chair and scratch my balls. So uh, have a wonderful, happy whatever the fuck you celebrate. And uh, the holidays can eat my shorts, man.